CIETNCERT presents Audiobook of Mathematics for Class 6 Chapter 3 Playing with Numbers Part 1 Page 46 3.1 Introduction Ramesh has six marbles with him. He wants to arrange them in rows in such a way that each row has the same number of marbles. He arranges them in the field. 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 9, 12, 18, 36. 2, A. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. Next to this, we have a picture of the six marbles arranged as one marble in each row. 2. Two marbles in each row. Number of rows is equal to 3. Total number of marbles is equal to 2 multiplied by 3, which is equal to 6. Next to this, we see a picture of two marbles arranged in three rows. 3. Three marbles in each row. Number of rows is equal to 2. Total number of marbles is equal to 3 multiplied by 2, which is equal to 6. Next to this, we see a picture of three marbles arranged in two rows. 4. He could not think of any arrangement in which each row had four marbles or five marbles. So, the only possible arrangement left was with all the six marbles in a row. Number of rows is equal to 1. Total number of marbles is equal to 6 multiplied by 1, which is equal to 6. Next to this, we see a picture of six marbles arranged in one row. From these calculations, Ramesh observes that six can be written as a product of two numbers in different ways, as six is equal to one multiplied by six, six is equal to two multiplied by three, six is equal to three multiplied by two, six is equal to six multiplied by one. Page 47. From 6 is equal to 2 multiplied by 3, it can be said that 2 and 3 exactly divide 6. So, 2 and 3 are exact divisors of 6. From the other product, 6 is equal to 1 multiplied by 6, the exact divisions of 6 are found to be 1 and 6. Thus, 1, 2, 3, and 6 are exact divisors of 6. They are called the factors of 6. Try arranging 18 marbles in rows and find the factors of 18. 3.2 Factors and Multiples Mary wants to find those numbers which exactly divide 4. She divides 4 by numbers less than 4 this way. 1. 4 divided by 1. Quotient is 4. Remainder is 0. 4 is equal to 1 multiplied by 4. 2. 4 divided by 2. Quotient is 2. Remainder is 0. 4 is equal to 2 multiplied by 2. 3. 4 divided by 3. Quotient is 1, remainder is 1. 4. 4 divided by 4. Quotient is 1, remainder is 0. 4 is equal to 4 multiplied by 1. We have 4 boxes here which show these calculations of 4 being divided by 1, 2, 3 and 4. She finds that the number 4 can be written as 4 is equal to 1 multiplied by 4, 4 is equal to 2 multiplied by 2, 4 is equal to 4 multiplied by 1 and knows that the numbers 1, 2 and 4 are exact divisors of 4. These numbers are called factors of 4. A factor of a number is an exact divisor of that number. Observe each of the factors of 4 is less than or equal to 4. Game 1 
This is a game to be played by two persons, say A and B. It is about spotting factors. It requires 50 pieces of cards numbered 1 to 50. Arrange the cards on the table like this. We have the cards arranged from 1 to 50 in 7 rows and 7 columns. Only one card with number 50 is left out of this arrangement and is next to these columns. Page 48 Steps A. Decide who plays first, A or B. B. Let A play first. He picks up a card from the table and keeps it with him. Suppose the card has number 28 on it. C. Player B then picks up all those cards having numbers which are factors of the numbers on A's card, that is, 28, and puts them in a pile near him. D. Player B then picks up a card from the table and keeps it with him. From the cards that are left, A picks up all those cards whose numbers are factors of the number on B's card. A puts them on the previous card that he collected. E. The game continues like this until all the cards are used up. F. A will add up the numbers on the cards that he has collected. B2 will do the same with his cards. The player with greatest sum will be the winner. The game can be made more interesting by increasing the number of cards. Play this game with your friend. Can you find some way to win the game? When we write a number 20 as 20 is equal to 4 multiplied by 5, we say 4 and 5 are factors of 20. We also say that 20 is a multiple of 4 and 5. The representation 24 is equal to 2 multiplied by 12 shows that 2 and 12 are factors of 24, whereas 24 is a multiple of 2 and 12. 4 multiplied by 5 is equal to 20. Here, 4 and 5 are factors. 20 is the multiple. We can say that a number is a multiple of each of its factors. Try these. Find the possible factors of 45, 30 and 36. Let us now see some interesting facts about factors and multiples. A. Collect a number of wooden or paper strips of length 3 units each. B. Join them end to end as shown in the figure here. We have a figure here made by the strips. They are all joined end to end. The length of the strip at the top is 3 is equal to 1 into 3 units. The length of the strip below it is 3 plus 3 is equal to 6 units. Also 6 is equal to 2 multiplied by 3. The length of the next strip is 3 plus 3 plus 3 equal to 9 units and 9 is equal to 3 multiplied by 3. Continuing this way, we can express the other lengths as 12 is equal to 4 multiplied by 3, 15 is equal to 5 multiplied by 3. We say that the numbers 3, 6, 9, 12 and 15 are multiples of 3. The list of multiples of 3 can be continued as 18, 21, 24 and so on. Each of these multiples is greater than or equal to 3. The multiples of the number 4 are 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24 and so on. The list is endless. Each of these numbers is greater than or equal to 4. Page 49 Let us see what we conclude about factors and multiples. 1. Is there any number which occurs as a factor of every number? Yes, it is 1. For example, 6 is equal to 1 multiplied by 6, 18 is equal to 1 multiplied by 18, and so on. 
check it for a few more numbers. We say 1 is a factor of every number. 2. Can 7 be a factor of itself? Yes, you can write 7 as 7 is equal to 7 multiplied by 1. What about 10 and 15? You will find that every number can be expressed in this way. We say that every number is a factor of itself. 3. What are the factors of 16? They are 1, 2, 4, 8, 16. Out of these factors, do you find any factor which does not divide 16? Try it for 20. 36. You will find that every factor of a number is an exact divisor of that number. 4. What are the factors of 34? They are 1, 2, 17 and 34 itself. Out of these, which is the greatest factor? It is 34 itself. The other factors 1, 2 and 17 are less than 34. Try to check this for 64, 81 and 56. We say that every factor is less than or equal to the given number. 5. The number 76 has 5 factors. How many factors does 136 or 96 have? You will find that you are able to count the number of factors of each of these. Even if the numbers are as large as 10,576, 25,642, etc. or larger, you can still count the number of factors of such numbers, though you may find it difficult to factorize such numbers. We say that numbers of factors of a given number are finite. 6. What are the multiples of 7? Obviously, 7, 14, 21, 28 and so on. You will find that each of these multiples is greater than or equal to 7. Will it happen with each number? Check this for the multiples of 6, 9 and 10. We find that every multiple of a number is greater than or equal to that number. 7. Write the multiples of 5. They are 5, 10, 15, 20 and so on. Do you think this list will end anywhere? No, the list is endless. Try it with multiples of 6, 7 etc. We find that the number of multiples of a given number is infinite. 8. Can 7 be a multiple of itself? Yes because 7 is equal to 7 multiplied by 1. Will it be true for other numbers also? Try it with 3, 12 and 16. You will find that every number is a multiple of itself. Page 50 The factors of 6 are 1, 2, 3 and 6. Also, 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 6 is equal to 12, which is equal to 2 multiplied by 6. We find that the sum of the factors of 6 is twice the number 6. All the factors of 28 are 1, 2, 4, 7, 14 and 28. Adding these we have 1 plus 2 plus 4 plus 7 plus 14 plus 28, which is equal to 56, which is equal to 2 multiplied by 28. The sum of the factors of 28 is equal to twice the number 28. A number for which sum of all its factors is equal to twice the number is called 
a perfect number. The numbers 6 and 28 are perfect numbers. Is 10 a perfect number? Example 1. Write all the factors of 68. Solution. We note that 68 is equal to 1 multiplied by 68. 68 is equal to 2 multiplied by 34. 68 is equal to 4 multiplied by 17. 68 is equal to 17 multiplied by 4. Stop here because 4 and 17 have occurred earlier. Thus, all the factors of 68 are 1, 2, 4, 17, 34 and 68. Example 2. Find the factors of 36. Solution. 36 is equal to 1 multiplied by 36. 36 is equal to 2 multiplied by 18. 36 is equal to 3 multiplied by 12. 36 is equal to 4 multiplied by 9. 36 is equal to 6 multiplied by 6. Stop here because both the factors 6 are same. Thus, the factors are 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 9, 12, 18 and 36. Example 3. Write first 5 multiples of 6. Solution. The required multiples are 6 multiplied by 1 is equal to 6. 6 multiplied by 2 is equal to 12. 6 multiplied by 3 is equal to 18. 6 multiplied by 4 is equal to 24. 6 multiplied by 5 is equal to 30. That is, 6, 12, 18, 24 and 30. Exercise 3.1 1. Write all the factors of the following numbers. A. 24 B. 15 C. 21 D. 27 E. 12 F. 20 G. 18 H. 23 I. 36 2. Write first 5 multiples of A. 5 B. 8 C. 9 3. Match the items in column 1 with the items in column 2. Column 1 1. 35 2. 15 3. 16 4. 20 Column 2 A. Multiple of 8 B. Multiple of 7 C. Multiple of 70 D. Factor of 30 Page 51 5. 25 E. Factor of 50 F. Factor of 20 4. Find all the multiples of 9 up to 100. You were just listening to the audiobook Mathematics for Class 6. Narrator Gaurav Marva. Assistance in Production Soumya Malik. Producer Vimlesh Chaudhary. Presented by CIET NCERT New Delhi, India.